Welcome back. We are here for part two of episode five of Sip On This. Uh, man, I feel like I shouldn't be, even be have to saying this anymore or having to be having to be saying this. But uh, if this is your first time here, welcome to Sip On This. This is my live stream talk show. Cool, uh, positive conversations of cool people. And uh, we just finished up with Jason Peters, a good friend of mine who is doing, he's always doing a thousand different things. And he's, uh, he's right now he's working on some type of investigative story that he said he couldn't talk much about. So go follow him. Uh, he's linked in my story and everything like that. And uh, keep up with what he's doing. It's cool stuff. Next up, we've got Shane Lydon, one of my oldest friends. And uh, I, lo I love this because everybody's doing, like, everybody's got such different things going on, but it's all cool stuff that they're stoked about. And so we're going to dive into that with Shane. Him in now. Anyone that's here, what's up? Glad that you're spending your morning or early afternoon, wherever you are with us right now. Shane Here he is, baby. Yo. What's what up, dude? <laughs> what's going on, man? Long time no see, buddy. Yeah, right? <laughs> To give some context to anybody that's watching, uh, Shane and I have been friends since what, like, I want to fourth, say like fourth grade? Yeah. yeah, like fourth grade. I think that's when I first started coming to your birthday parties. Ah, uh, that's that's what counts, dude. <laughs> um, so what's up, dude? How are you? How's your your week? What's your what's your week looking like right now? Are you are you working still or what? Yeah. So. Um, because of well first off our honorable colleague who just left i take that to offense that you say dumb people like country music <laughs> <laughs> hey he didn't he didn't say exactly that <laughs> I'm just he kidding. tiptoed around just enough <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so right now work's been uh kind of slow to be honest with you um a lot of my clients, so um little synopsis to anybody who doesn't know i work in manufacturing i'm a um, lean manufacturing consultant so um, essentially, if you if you make something, um, I can try to limit costs and try to um, optimize operator skills and things like that. So I do a lot of observations. I do a lot of interviews with people to try and understand what they're good at, what they're not good at, areas that they're comfortable in, in order to try to um, be more effective for the company itself. So right now, uh, a lot of our clients, they kind of, not so much down, but they're using their buildings as storage facilities for Amazon, believe it or not, like as warehouses. So really, yeah, they only have like maybe four or five people um, that are working and then they're renting the space to Amazon uh, because people are still ordering stuff online, but not allowed to be working. So um, other than that, our defense contractors are still in business. So I'm working like one day a week just on my whole business. Um, like tomorrow I have a client, but other than that, it's, it's pretty slow. So I've had a lot of free time to do whatever I really wanted to do, honestly. Well, so dude, tell, tell me about that though, because anyone that's watching, like I said, um, well, I'm getting feedback here. Hang on. Try clicking your volume down a couple, a couple little things. Is that better? I, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. Have you like my keyboard i can set my works phone. for me probably just echoing off of that all right um so yeah to yeah to anybody who's watching i always ask everyone that comes on in their scheduling thing like what's something you're stoked about and shane you said that's because of all that downtime and everything you're just kind of you're like tinkering more than you ever have yeah. with johnny <laughs> so yeah. Good old cousin Johnny. <laughs> Anybody that's watching, Shane and Johnny are the the inseparable pair, always working on some type of mischief. <laughs> but uh, dude, tell me, like, I know that you've always talked about, like, oh, I wanna, I wanna, like, you know, get my own. Your dream is to like just basically work on cool toys and and get paid to do it and do cool stuff. <laughs> so. You said that you are trying to like get the YouTube brand up or something like that. Like, dude, paint the picture for me. Cause I mean, we obviously talk all the time, but like yeah. we haven't, we haven't had one of these like drinking and talking business conversations in a while. Oh, by the way, I got my new Monopoly glass. It's got a spinny dice in it. Got, 
Yeah. Dude. It's a sick. <laughs> macchiato creamer. I just tried it for today. I got it specifically for this. So it's not bad. I'm flattered. Cheers, man. <laughs> Cheers. Um, so yeah, I'm obviously I'm not versed in the whole editing side of videos or anything like that. I'm using just I'm gonna be honest, I'm using just basic iMovie. And I took old clips from what me and Johnny had when we were riding or if the girlfriends went with us, things like that. They're just trying to make like an interesting video. And I did. I threw it up on YouTube. It's a it's a piece of shit video, but um other than that, like uh Johnny and I were trying to pretty much brand ourselves as um it's not DIY, but it's just like basic things that, you know, like inspection stations, they'll screw you over for your brakes on your truck or doing an oil change. So like anything that a normal person could do at home with normal tools, we want to try and do like how to videos and just kind of make it fun. Um, and pretty much what we want our brand to be is um, like the blue collar kind of people. So Johnny works in carpentry and I work in manufacturing. So the stuff that you know, kind of makes the, the country go round. You got to get to have the people that have, you know, the, the dirty hands and things like that. So we just want to show kind of like, hey, you know, you can work your ass off Monday through Friday just to have a good ass time on Saturday. Um, that's I like what, it. That's what we kind of want to brand. But um, I, don't, I don't know. We don't know where it's going to go or anything like that. But right now we have a ton of time. So we've been taking a lot of videos. Um, and I haven't really posted anything yet. I'm just trying to edit it that it makes sense. But I also, I have this inner like perfectionism in me and I know it's not going to be good. So I have a hard time posting it. I know you talk about that a lot. Um, it's just it's like, a struggle, it's like, dude. yeah, you don't have to be, but like, I don't know, you said in, in your one video, you're like, just go for it. Honestly, like just start filming yourself and putting it out there because at the end of the day, like you're going to learn from what you're already doing. I just need to get that mentality out of my head of like, all right, now wait until it's really good. Yeah. Well, dude, here's the, here's what I've learned is that's never going to be out of your head. You know, it's, it's going to be just making the decision to like consciously to just get over that because I, uh, Honcho's here. Oh boy. <laughs> I, um, dude, like even with this, I was, sitting there thinking like if i'm gonna do something like this i'm gonna do it right i'm gonna get like the cam the capture card and hook up my actual camera and have it like multi-streamed all these different things and i hit a point dude where i was just like fuck it i just gotta start i just gotta like because dude you build momentum and then you, you see like you in the process of just starting to do it you see what's working what's not like i'm picking up on things that like okay, maybe this will make more sense to be like the thing that I should buy right. to start doing this better, you know? And so I think with what you're doing, um, like you just start putting it out so that way you have some stuff there. And then like the next thing that you might do is maybe like figure out, um, like you're putting them on YouTube? Yeah. We just I would do like, like YouTube SEO because like YouTube's great for posting videos for like searchability so if you are putting like how-to videos up there huge huge market for how-to videos because everybody's going to youtube to search like how to do yeah. blank you know and so if you can like title things right and put the right description and t uh, keywords and tags and all that type of stuff the like the probability that you're going to show up when people are searching like you know, how to change brakes, just what DIY. If you have all that stuff set up right, there's a way higher chance that you're either going to show up in a search or in like a related video. Oh, okay. And so it's like, you don't need to have these, this crazy camera and these, these yeah. crazy editing skills. It's like, if you can put the info across in a concise and interesting enough way and just know how to get it in front of people, that's, that's like the first step, really. Yeah. Okay. But, but it's just accepting that like i just gotta i just gotta put this out right because i guarantee you like if you're putting actual info in there like i know that you and johnny know uh people people aren't gonna attack you for being like that camera angle sucked <laughs> <laughs> it's like when i was talking with jason in the last one he's like he doesn't give a shit about what he if his audio for his podcast isn't top, top notch, because he's not putting it out for audio engineers, that's not his audience. You know, they might watch and be like, 
you should have done this and mastered it different. But like the people that are watching or listening rather are listening for what they want to hear. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to be critics when they're going there to just view it. That's, you know, like that's not the, the, the main intention. Exactly. If you can teach them something and they, they'll know how to kind of do it by the end of the video, anybody that bitches about it is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that's true too. But, uh, so like what's, uh, how many toys you got now that you guys are, you were talking about getting a, a go-kart and doing like an engine swap or something. Yeah, I think, I think we want to do that. Um, so there's a, there's like a, a go-kart over by one of my roommates area. So we were thinking about buying an old shitty quad that has a motor that's running in it. Um, I got my welder and everything, and we're going to try and videotape us doing like taking the motor out of the quad, putting it in the go-kart, souping it up, doing all that shit, maybe riding around in the streets and just kind of hooning it around because at this point, like, who gives a shit? Um, no one, no one, you know, like, I just think that'll be entertaining as hell. Even if we get pulled over by the cops, like that. <laughs> that makes for good video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and not only that, like we've done so many different rebuilds, like we've torn apart, I think like five or six toys now, and we've learned all of it just on our own. Like we dive into it. And um, if there's one thing that the two of us are good at, it's learning on the fly. So we go like, I have no idea what I'm getting into here. Um, I'm probably breaking everything that I'm looking at and I'll probably never get it back together. And I just wasted a thousand dollars, but we're like, screw it. Cause I have this knowledge now that I can keep on going. So like our, the truck that's sitting in my driveway, that thing's in pieces. Um, and we completely rebuilt that thing. And all we have to do now is connect the electronics of it and then we're going to sell it. So we also flip bikes too. So like we each bought it, you know, we bought those dirt bikes and then we sold that as well. So we're just trying to make a profit on that kind of stuff and also have a good time doing it. Um, and it's been working so far. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing that we love to do is we're good at that kind of tactical stuff with our hands. And um, we just have a, a blast doing it. And I don't know how else um, to monetize that. Uh, but, you know. well i mean here's the thing dude if you're having a blast doing it already i feel like that makes it that much like easier to monetize because a lot yeah. of people dive into shit thinking like what's something i can do to monetize like right off the bat right and you're already at a loss when you're thinking that way you know so if you guys are just like having a good time here's the thing if you're having a good time and like shooting videos and making them just because you're, you're enjoying it there's an like what else are you going to do right now you're in a better spot because you give a shit about doing it without the payout right away you know yeah. but yeah. I, I think that's you're in a good spot <laughs> <laughs> um dude what uh what have you been doing like besides just tinkering and like call of duty <laughs> what have you been doing during what is this week six i think it's day like 43 or something yeah, think, of our yeah. junior 43 or 44. Um, I, I know I, when I wake up in the morning, I'm working out just trying to keep your mind clear. Um, do a few push ups, get yourself um, awake because it's very easy to sleep in till noon if you really wanted to on this. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, I've been going over my, my dad just moved into a new house. So I've been going over there doing a lot of um, home improvements with um, him. Um, and also, like right now, we're trying to set up um, a training. So for my, my actual full-time job, we're trying to set up how we can, um, like, let's make the assumption that this whole quarantine thing is quote unquote over. Um, how can we get ahead of the curve of bringing one of us into a client to do a training on, all right, well, where do we start now? We're at ground zero. We haven't been making stuff for the last two months. What can we do to, um, you know, optimize all of this stuff? So, um, short story like we want to try and set up a zoom meeting with a few of different clients to get them to talk to each other that you know like i have a a, a bagel client and then i have a, a shipping container client but if they were to uh talk to each other and collaborate and say like like how are you guys getting through this and um things like that at the end of the day all manufacturing is the same uh, it's a material pump so material comes in you convert it and then you send it out to get cash they're all the same. So you can use all the same ideals for each company. Um, and what we want to try and do is set them up where, you know, maybe there's 10 or 12 of us in a zoom call. 
I know it sounds very uh, mediocre, but like if they they were to have a conversation with each other of how one is surviving and how another maybe is, you know, they had to lay off employees or something like that. And then we would kind of be the mediators in it and say, look, like these are some of the things that you guys could be doing to set yourselves up for future success once you're allowed to be, you know, open again. Um, yeah. But right now Dude, it's, it's- That's it's awesome. Hard. Yeah. I, what were you about to say though? So right now it's hard to get in contact. Like, so what we're noticing is a lot of people right now are not somewhat uh, depressed, but it's just like they're kind of laid back. And it's it's just like, well, you know, I can't really do anything anyway, so I might as well take this time to just be lazy. Um, mm -hmm. For lack of better words, that's essentially what's happening. And they're like, oh, well, we don't want to do it this week. Maybe we could do it next week. So logistically speaking, it's hard to get everybody on a on the same playing field to get in the mindset of, all right, let's do lean manufacturing stuff while we're not really working. So that's the, the hump that we're trying to get over right now. Dude, I, I, first off, I love that idea. I think it's awesome kind of having that like digital, like virtual type of mastermind thing, yeah. especially when you're bringing people who are, you're right. It's like, maybe it's like the horizontal is the same as everyone's doing manufacturing, but it's all different industries, you know? Yep. And, uh, I think if you guys are the ones that are facilitating that too, that puts you guys in like a, a, a way up spot. Cause they're like, Oh, these guys are now very much proving that they are like one, that they give a shit about us and two, that they're like the experts on this. So that just kind of will on your guys end show like, Hey, they care a lot about this. Uh, second thing is like, I've, from what I've seen and just had conversations about like, the longer that people are in that lull of just, I'll just do it later because what's going on anyway right now? Why should I just put my head down and focus on getting stuff done? Like the longer you go during that, the harder it is to get back into it. Yep. You know? Oh, wait, you still there? Yeah, there you are. Okay. Um, yeah, harder is to get back into it because it's just like you've gone that much longer. Like when you're in a groove, dude, you kind of keep that momentum going. When you yep. stop that, it's like, what are you going to do? Stop until everything kicks back up again? Yeah. Then you're like that much further behind at that point. And then if you think about it, you know, if everybody's in that lull, there's no actual like kick back into that mode because everybody's waiting on someone else to get into that mode, but no one else is going to do that. So, so if you guys are the ones that come with them with like, hey, here's what we're going to do. Here's the day and time and everything. Like, be ready for it. You need this. Yeah, and that's maybe that's the kick. <laughs> we just want to try and build that momentum or even just the mindset of it. Um, Cause right now pretty much no one's think, like everybody's enjoying their, their off time, but you know, it takes 28 days to form a new habit. And this has been 43 days of you wake up, you might have to do some work on your computer, answer a few emails. You don't have to physically get dressed, get in your car and go to work at six 30 in the morning. So yeah. I break a new habit that wasn't intentionally formed. Dude, I've been putting jeans on like every day. Cause I'm just like, <laughs> if I'm not, I can't just like sit here and, and not get out of pajamas and just like, then go back to bed later. And I don't know. It, yeah. Some type of breakup in my day, but. Um, you throw a tie on a t-shirt, whatever gets you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honcho says, Shane, I'll write you an intro track for your videos. <laughs> All right, Tyler, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm in for that. I will say, he sent me a, he sent me a track that he worked on yesterday. It sounded pretty solid. So get yeah, on get on early before he starts charging break, for it. We might have to break the uh, quarantine rules and hang out and try and figure some of this out. <laughs> Socially distanced, Shane. Six feet apart, and we're all right. <laughs> we'll all wear those... Uh, those bubble soccer bubbles and just run into it. Yeah. <laughs> just going absorbing with the friends today. Don't mind us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what man. about you, man? What have, what have you been doing to, to kind of get through this stuff? I know you started to sip on this thing, which I think is a really cool idea for networking purposes and stuff like that. And, you know, what, what have you been up to? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think, dude. It's I, it's always I never expect to get like a question thrown back, <laughs> but um, I've just been. It's like a, a kind of a balance, like walking that line between staying kind of productive or like just productive enough to keep that momentum, but then also just like 
fucking off and doing whatever. <laughs> yeah. So it's, you know, I, I've had, I, um, what was it? I had like some client work, fortunately, like I can't do shoots right now, but, um, I just did like those product photos for the, the winery, uh, which is cool. Cause it's like, they just, I'll get the product and then just do it here. Um, yeah. in my super fancy setup. <laughs> Dude, it looked, it looked phenomenal by the way. Dude, it, it came out looking all right. So it, thank no, you. It was, it was I was like, um, first off, it was very enticing. I want to drink some of them. <laughs> right, right. It's just sitting here. And like, oh. yeah. But no shit like that. And then I had like another, uh, ad creation project for, for another client, which is cool. So like just little stuff here and there, but like, it's enough to make me feel like, all right, I'm not at a standstill right now. So um, shit like that. And then kind of just like figuring out ways to work on my own stuff, you know, like, all right, what, what have I maybe been wanting to do for a while or saying that would be good to do, uh, but not doing Tyler says, got to go get Jack to be well, boys. There you go, dude. You've got, you've got many girls to impress. <laughs> not going to name drop here though. <laughs> Um, and uh, like after yeah. after all this stuff, uh, when you know our business side starts to speed up a little bit, I know that you and me had a conversation of bringing you on board to do work with us, and I'm really excited about that. Obviously, you know the the intricacies yeah, of why that can't happen right now, but that's still <laughs> anybody who's watching. Um, yeah, we're gonna bring Dave in because I I've, I've seen a lot of his his stuff. He does really good work, and I think he can represent <laughs> us in a really good way. Uh, I'm excited for that moment. Whenever that is, I'm excited for it. Whenever that is, dude, at this point. Yeah, I don't well, know. Well, here's the thing, too, like, that I realized doing that, that last video business card with Brianna. Like, that was so much, like, personality in it, you know? Yeah. And that, that one, that was the most well-received one that I've uh, that ever done, which was sick. But I think that's, like, kind of the cool thing about – you and your dad's company or your dad's company. But um, it's just like you guys personality wise are just like so strong with it. It's just like you walk into a room, you'll hold a conversation the whole night. But um, what? Oh, <laughs> Aaron says you guys were just talking about the music for your videos. That's awesome. <laughs> you got, got a friend with it then. Um, but yeah, I think like that's, that's something that, I mean, we talked about this before too. Like who, who else is first off doing video promotion for like lean manufacturing and second off who is, who is really leaning into it? Well, leaning into it <laughs> oh. <laughs> with like, Hey, here's who we are as people, not just like, here's what we do. You know, right. that's but. something that we, we struggle with though is, you know, um, I guess, yeah, it's kind of a, a niche market, but at the same time we struggle with, is there an actual market for, you know, all the, the lean terminology and everything. So like a, a, a quick summary is it, it comes from Japan, um, lean manufacturing, the ideologies and things like that. Um, but we're noticing that at a lot of our clients, it's just, um, for lack of better words, we're babysitting certain processes. So like right now I'm working with vendor relations. That's not lean at all, but I'm good at talking with certain people. So um, like General Electric is a, is a customer of this one company and they can't communicate really well with some of their products and things like that. So I'm the mediator. That has nothing to do with lean manufacturing, but they're using me in that facet. If the so shoe fits, man. <laughs> yeah. And, but, so we're struggling with like, is that even – is it even marketable? Um, and to a point yeah, is it like, is that what you start with or is that more of like an upsell after you've already marketed something else? Exactly. And yeah. we don't, and right now it's really tough to get an accurate answer of what the customer really wants. Cause right now, you know, people don't really want anything. People and just want shit to go back to normal. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I honestly think that there's not going to be a normal after this. It's going to be a lot different people are going to be a little bit in my opinion i think people are going to be a little bit more uh conservative um they're not going to want to it's going to be like edgy um i think because then god forbid you go to acne and you see someone without a mask you go am i supposed to wear a mask or am i not supposed to wear a mask i don't know yeah 
yeah. I think people are gonna, it's gonna like ride out for a while. And uh, I think it'll, it'll be like kind of, the people who start going back to like what we used to know normalize would be like the weird ones. Be like, wait a second. Yeah. It's like you said, it'll be edgy to do that. It'd be like, yeah. and then eventually like people will start creeping back to it, you know? Yeah. But it's weird. It's weird to think about. Who knows? Well, we're going to have a banger when it's over anyway. Oh my so. God. <laughs> Dude, I just, I just want to barbecue and play stump. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can't wait to play stump. Oh, I mean, we could we could do cornhole socially distant, but we'll figure we that out. We have, to, we have to all use separate um, bean bags. We can't bring your own bag. BYOB. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, to spin it to a more con positive uh, uh, perspective on it, though, like what when when this blows over, what are you looking forward to most, dude? Or like we said, it's not going to go back to probably the same normal that we knew. But once these things are, like, loosened up and we're able to, like, have some semblance of a normal life and go out again, like, what's uh, what's the first, like, plans that you've got? Honestly, it's just, you know, being able to go and do activities without any type of restriction or anything like that. Like, right now, I mean, you know, I love I love fishing. Um but there's only certain ramps that are open and, you know, there's not a lot of people out and things like that, you know, just going <clears throat> um, like to the store and just being no like, that's the kind of, it's weird, but that's the kind of stuff I'm looking forward to. Um, and also, you know, just hanging out with my closest friends and things like that. Cause all we've been able to do is, you know, zoom call, FaceTime, whatever it is. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's the kind of stuff I look forward to because, you know, at the end of the day, most people like the whole interaction side of things. I think that's what's hitting people the most, man. Like, even like, – because I've seen people that are, like, super introverted posting, like, this isn't any different from, like, normal for me right now. But uh, you you kind of pick up on, like, from people's posts that, like, that interaction to, to – like, not being able to have it at all, social interaction, is, like, wearing people down, you know? Yeah. Like, you, you know, you can only get so far with, like, a FaceTime. <laughs> yeah. And then not only that, like, sports. There's no sports on right now. I cannot wait until, like, there there was rumors that hockey was going to come back in July. Like, holy shit. That's usually, like, the Stanley Cup has already been finished by then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I think I think one of the big ones is, is sports, like football. and I mean, yeah. it's still, that one's kind of up in the air. But, like, baseball right now, they should be playing, but they're not. I know. Well, dude, when uh, this whole weekend with all the different draft stuff, I'm just like, I'm getting real stoked. And I'm like, all right, Eagles, maybe like we've got a chance this year. And then I'm just thinking ahead, like, dude, I hope to God <laughs> that we're able to like actually have a season go and happen this year. You know, yeah. Kenzie yeah. says, I miss my friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah and... that, like, I don't know when it gets warmer out, you know, maybe going to the beach or, going on vacation like right now i was supposed to go to nashville and the end of june to july i was supposed to come yeah. home on july 4th but right now it's looking like we're probably got to postpone that i'm so yeah. because i was so i was so stoked to go to nashville like that's one of my dreams and now we probably can't do that yeah it's uh it's rough dude my parents this is the second time that they've had to cancel a planned california trip so they're just like, I'm, I'm taking that angle of like third time's the charm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you figure like, yeah, a lot of people are just like thrown out of whack. And I think that's going to be interesting to see the people that just like stop giving a shit, you know, because there's that you we're seeing it already, but there's so many people that are just going to be like, well, it's summer. It's nice out. I'll take my chances. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to get to a point where, you know, like um, I see all over, you know, there's groups on Facebook and stuff like that, like how the, the quarantine is, is bullshit and things like that. Um, I get it. You're trying to keep um, like you might not have any effect of getting the, the illness, but the you could give it to someone else. So I understand that. And I just think some people are going to go like, 
screw it, I don't care, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Um, and then it could restart this whole thing all over again. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just so kind of like what what Jason said. He's like, yeah, people are are led to believe that this is like a hoax or whatever it is. It's it's not. I mean, it's it's real. I don't know anybody personally who's had it, but um, I believe it. I mean, I don't see a reason why it would be like. Another. I mean, dude, I I get that it's like the you know maybe it's being. <sighs> in certain ways like more hyped up than than it is and i i say that with like the most respect to what it actually is because there's people dying yeah. but i know that like just the news has a way to sensationalize certain things and make them larger or more like a headline more triggering than it than it should be yeah. you know and so i know there's plenty of that going on but it's like I, I just don't understand certain people that are like, it's a hoax. <laughs> I'm like, dude, there's, there's like re refrigerated shipping containers as morgues right now. And that, that's where, like, that's one not of Not to my... get too dark with it, but, you know. No, but, I mean, yeah, like, real, like, I'm not a nurse, and I don't, I don't, I'm not in a hospital or anything like that, but I've seen the other end of it real time of, like, there is people, you know, suffering from this based on – my clients <laughs> so yeah. but I, I don't know i i hope that we can get back to um like a normal-ish thing where we can kind of put this on the back burner and say wow do you guys remember that two years ago when we couldn't touch anybody or go yeah. anywhere and things like that rather than it be like hey do you remember what normal life used to be so yeah dude but, i um I've, I've been asking people and i asked just jason right uh right before we hopped on like what are the what are the silver linings that you're finding from this? Because I feel like everybody is finding their own little positives. So like, what's that been for you? Is it just having that that free time to like tinker with stuff, or or something else too? Well, I think I think it really um, pulls out like the creativity side of people. So I'm trying to be as creative as possible to keep my mind busy. Because if I sit at home, I'm gonna drive myself insane. If it was any other time i probably would never have the courage to put anything out there on youtube because i'd be too worried about what other people think but right now i'm just like i'm not working i'm trying to do as much as i can to build work you know what i have an extra eight hours in my day i'm gonna just say screw it and go ahead and do this kind of stuff so <laughs> the creative side of of myself is kind of coming out because of this um whether that's me working outside or doing the the um, editing side of things and i'm learning a lot i mean it's fun i actually enjoy i know you said you don't really like it but i like editing <laughs> videos a lot god bless you <laughs> i think it's fun when it you know when it all comes together yeah it you know it, it is cool seeing like like where you can piece things together yeah you, realistically if i had more of like a process to it or like a rhyme <laughs> or reason it would probably be like a better thing yeah <laughs> But uh, no, yeah, that's that's really cool, and that's a good way to put it. Is like, you figure you, you either just sit around and like go crazy, or you kind of have to get creative with ways to keep yourself busy and productive and entertained. And uh, it's cool. It's cool seeing how that plays out for different people. I'm seeing people post like their drawings and paintings that kick ass that I never knew had any like artistic right. skill I'm like what <laughs> where where was that like yeah. post that more yeah but i think i think um it is it's it's forcing people to entertain themselves mm -hmm. one way or another because you can only watch so many netflix shows before you get bored out of your mind you can only play so much call of duty and you can only facetime so long before it's like i need to do something other than sit in this chair um, yeah uh, yeah so what about what about you uh, I've, I don't know, I guess kind of similar, you know, because I'm doing this and this is something that since like the beginning of the year, I've been telling myself, like, I want to start some type of like podcast or something. And, um, just, it, again, it was like an, or paralysis by analysis where I was like, well, maybe it should be this. Maybe it should do this. I can't do this until I have this thing. And uh, and just circumstantially, I was like, fuck it, let's just go for it. Yeah. And, um, you know, it came together. So stuff like that 
it's um i'm just kind of like taking time to talk with people too because like extroverted I, I i rely on that like conversation with people you know and um so it's it's been cool just like having conversations with people who i'm usually like touch and go with you know um and just like I, everybody's in the same boat you know so people who maybe are normally like super busy or have like a bunch of different things going on throughout their day now don't and so y there's more time to like have that conversation and stuff like that i think it's just things like that everybody's kind of taking time to like slow down and slowing down doesn't mean stopping you know yeah so i think that's kind of cool is like people are still doing their lives but also like figuring out what else they can fit in be with all the new like free time they have yeah 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 and like jason said it's like if if there's people that you haven't had any contact with since like the beginning of all this probably yeah. probably don't give too much of a shit anyway <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. so it's like finding stuff like that out yeah it's it's cool it's interesting but yeah. what um fuck i was just gonna ask you something i can't remember <laughs> this, this mile brain's going a mile a minute but um yeah i don't know i'm sure i'll think of it and then i'll just like actually text you but uh dude that's I mean, that's all I've really got. Is there, like, any other cool shit that you've got going on that, you, um, that you're, like, thinking about or, like, haven't started yet, but maybe, like, you're still trying to figure out how to work it into your quarantine schedule or anything? No, I mean, <clears throat> there's, there's only so many, like, hobbies and things like that that you can do. Um, I, as, of, as of now, no, I don't. I wish I did. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could work on a podcast or something. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> God, the, the direction that could go. <laughs> Especially uh, if we loop in uh, the rest of the, the friend group. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Jesus. Well, dude, let me ask you this: for for anybody who's watching and uh, and maybe is kind of struggling to to get done or get started, what they have been wanting to get started, even with all this free time, like what's what's your one little like nugget or tidbit of information that they might be able to take and run with Ooh. so you're, you're talking about people who who want to go ahead and do something but they just haven't yet yeah like you know you said you you and johnny have been tinkering and then like you put up a youtube video you never would have done that but you figure now you you can so but, you know i'm sure there's people who they've had things that they wanted to do but they're still holding back for whatever reason like what's your one little bit of info for them about about all this that maybe they can over get get over that my my thing i always tell myself is what's the worst that can happen so me and johnny found that that kind of stuff is entertaining to us so we posted uh it was like a music video of um rascal flat song of us just riding around and doing um hood rat stuff so <laughs> My thing I always say to myself is, what's the worst that can happen? And anybody who knows me knows that I say that all the time. Um, so anybody who's struggling with moving on to that next step, find what entertains you and then just go ahead and do whatever you want with that because the worst that can happen is X or, or Y. So for me and Johnny making that video, the worst that can happen is someone shit talks us on YouTube and that I could give a crap about. Um, no one, no one's going to die. No one get hurt. Like it's, it's as simple as that. Um, so yeah, that that's my expert philosophy on what. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, what were you sipping on by the way, dude? What, how you, what's, what was your coffee get situation? Get up. I got about this much caramel macchiato creamer with just regular coffee. I know you drink your coffee black. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> it's absolutely ass. <laughs> well, dude, I'm just a, I'm very simple, you know, like <laughs> give me, give me something straight. I'll eat food cold. I don't want any type of prep. <laughs> I was commenting on a, on a buddy's post last night. He had made an old fashioned and I was like, uh, with like Knob Creek and I was like oh man I've been drinking the Knob Creek smoked maple or whatever I love it 
He's like, oh, you've been making any old fashions? And I was like, nah, man, I'm usually just like right on the rocks, splash of water. He's like, oh, you got to try it. I was like, hey, I like it. But that's like a little, <laughs> a little too much prep work for me. <laughs> yeah, you feel like your whiskey on the rocks. Dude, my life is just one like wing it situation at, at a time, you know? <laughs> so, and that really boils down to things like even <laughs> drinks. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, maybe that says something about me, but. What we should do is, you know, for this for this YouTube thing, if Tyler makes the intro track, you can help us video it so it'll be really, like, actually good. Then the four of us, can act, if, if it's good enough and it's entertaining enough, then we can, we can pay you for it. Or, you know, if it's good enough, then we get ads on it. Like, I've got I've this good idea. We've got what you need. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about we hop on a FaceTime this week, talk about it, and we'll just figure out what's gonna how, how we can help you guys start kicking ass with it. We'll All just right. do that. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Sounds Hell good. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up because I should actually probably start doing some stuff that's you know work related today. <laughs> I usually consider twelve o'clock my like oh, maybe I should start working. <laughs> but um. Hell yeah, dude. Well, dude, thanks for filling in last minute. I know uh, we had we had Cole drop off because he fortunately is able to start doing work again. But um, but yeah, thanks for hopping in, dude. Can always count on you. And um, appreciate actually like hearing about the shit that you and Johnny been doing. And uh, and yeah, hopefully if anybody was watching, I know we we had like a consistent few people watching like the whole time which is fucking sick <laughs> so anyone that's been watching um appreciate you leave a comment if there's anything that stood out to you or you know if you're interested in what shane's doing give him a follow um shane you got to post here more <laughs> yeah i know hit him yeah. hit him with the youtube link um yeah, i could you could um, love you too ken's <laughs> but uh yeah all right well Dude, I'll realistically, I'll hit you up later. And to anybody else that's watching, if this was cool, you liked it, if you want to be on, I have a scheduling link that you can check out. John, just tuning in to keep up the hard work, guys. Appreciate you, man. Hey, uh, you. Yeah, if you like this, if you want to sip on this with me, either a Monday morning or a Thursday afternoon, let me know. I can send you the link, and uh, we can take it from there. But thank you, Shane, for hopping on. I'm going to hop off now, and... Uh, Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you again Thursday. Thanks, buddy. Have a good one. Of course. Peace out. See you, bud.